It's not going. Hold on. Dad! Come help us real quick. still necessary uh, we also learned uh, not to overfill the tarp with too much old uh, mulch debris because it can be too heavy to lift and uh, you might have to call in you know muscle like the old man speaking of the old man uh, there I am blowing leaves I'll be on the mower soon uh, mulching these suckers into the soil you see JT raking right now. He's not really raking for the leaves per, uh, per se because I'm gonna mulch those in. He's really raking for those branches. Uh, this, was a, this was a storm cleanup that hadn't been done when the storm hit or the one before that, probably the one before that. Uh, it's been a while, let's put it this way. I don't know how long this house has been on the market, but this yard was in desperate need and I'm gonna show you some before and after pictures. Uh, but before I do, uh, I wanted to explain who these guys are. These are friends of JT's, uh, and the reason that they're out helping us is because we found out about this job on Tuesday. I uh, went out and did the estimate Tuesday night. The guy uh, said, yeah, go ahead and do it if you can do it a ASAP, uh, because I got to close on this house. And this is the part of the deal about closing on this house is it needs to be cleaned up. There's a bunch of junk in the back that needs to be hauled away as well. I'll show you that in a few minutes. But uh, that was his situation, and I totally get it. Who can relate with that? Wait until the last minute to do something, and then now we're getting uh, into bad weather, right? Now we're getting into bad weather. Like uh, the forecast on Tuesday was Wednesday was going to be real nasty. In fact, Tuesday night was going to get nasty. Wednesday was going to be nasty. It's probably going to go on into Thursday. And uh, you know what? Uh, for once, the weather people were kind of right. Uh, so if we didn't get this done on uh, Tuesday, which was yesterday, uh, we wouldn't have got it done uh, at all because, well, you probably would have hired somebody else that could get out there, but uh, we needed to get this one done quick. Charge them a little bit uh, of a premium because this is going to be a pretty hefty dump fee uh, here for us in Oklahoma. We don't, uh, Oklahoma City, we don't, Tuttle, I should say, Oklahoma City residents get to use the landfills but us guys out here don't get to use it so we got to pay for it uh and tuttle doesn't have a uh a debris drop off point for a commercial outfit like us uh, you can take some branches down but not too many uh, and this would be a problem anyway let me show you some before and after pictures all right, guys, this is the back pasture area. I'll just be cutting that. None of those, uh, none of that debris is coming out. It's gonna stay there. That's really a burn pit. And it's about four feet deep, uh, both of them. That's one on each side there. Here's some of the junk that they want us to take away. Uh, this is breeding ground for rattlesnakes. That's why earlier you saw JT wearing those cowboy boots. There's a method to that madness, especially on this cleanup. Uh, I wish that Mopar cabinet was in better shape, man. That would have been a nice addition to the shop. Uh, but look here, all that's twigs. Look at this fence line. It's uh, damp leaves that are jammed up against there. They've probably been there for at least two years. I would say, I would estimate two years. Uh, so they're kind of difficult to get away. I'm gonna show you the after pretty soon. But this was most of the yard with these smaller uh, twigs. And the reason we like to pick those up uh, before we mulch over is obvious because they will dull a blade in a heartbeat. So uh, really, and there was a lot of leaves to be mulched over. So uh, we tried to get as many twigs up as we possibly could. Uh, we could have very easily changed blades halfway through this job. And I wish we would have thought about bringing an extra set, but we didn't. 
Food for thought, guys. Bring an extra set when you're doing something like this. Oh, we use gator blades, by the way. The trailer's full, as you can see. Uh, and here is the actual show in the, the driveway. It actually uh, has an end to the concrete. It's not just grass. Uh, here's the old tornado shelter after Lex got done trimming all of the crap around it down. And here she is after uh, Lex blew it off. And uh, looks looking nice and shiny. Anyway, here's the uh, side uh, where all those leaves were. You'll notice they're gone now. Uh, still, yet yeah, I needed to mulch over all that stuff. And that's the backyard. On the left-hand side right there is the finished product. And on the right-hand side, on the very edge, you can see I've got one more pass to make. Uh, but amazing. Uh, that X mark, 52-inch uh, Laser Z, mulch those leaves up incredibly. Uh, you can see that there's a bunch of dead trees on the property. Uh, due to the ice storm that we had earlier this year uh, but we're not hired to take those down so uh, we just got this stuff here with all those twigs in it uh, and if we so happen to put some leaves in the back of that trailer well they'll just probably so happen to pop out of that trailer uh, doing 65 or 70 down highway 4 sorry guys uh, we're in the country it doesn't hurt anything it's biodegradable in fact it's good good for the soils you know what I'm saying? We can justify stuff. Anybody else? No. What are you laughing about? What are you laughing about? Oh, she picked up her a little bear. I had to throw it. I, I told you last night I had to throw her yeah. away because she chewed. She was, I could hear her chewing on something. Yeah. And it was the ball, the eyeball. And she had almost the whole head off. She was picking up a little. Hello, Maggie. What a good girl, Maggie. All right, you ready? Gidget, you can't take your toy out. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Looks like these guys are ready. They're in formation. You ready, guys? Just waiting on mom. Taking yeah. forever. Sorry. Good girl, Mad. Good baby. See, I taught her how to open the door. She's going swimming. No. Don't go swimming. <laughs> it's raining. She doesn't care. No, I'm just, we were talking earlier about uh, how if it was raining, uh, we wouldn't be able to get that cleanup done. Oh, yes. You know what I mean? Because those leaves would have been crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you think you're going to uh, lay down? You think you're going to lay down on my... Uh... Okay, let's go. Get in. Wine. Wine. We'll leave him out. Wine's in love with the neighbor dog. Of course. He's so lusty. <laughs> Oh yeah. <gasps> That's beautiful. Thanks. Oh, you got the ball put on. I did. I got the well, it's a hitch, yeah. Yeah. It's a three-way hitch. We're gonna talk about this B and W three-way hitch pretty soon. Three ball hitch, I should say. Come on. Three way. Hey, get out of there. Turkey. Whew. Nope. Yeah, check the toilet paper. Hey, you little shit. Gidget. Well, 
Let's go. Gidget. Gidget. Hey. Gidget. Come here. Hey, KH. Hey, baby. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm tired. I'm wore out. Yep. Uh, today wore me out. Yesterday especially wore me out because yesterday was the day that we did the uh, that big cleanup, that last minute huge cleanup. I'm like, hello. <laughs> it's good money. It is. That's the good, the best time because you know a lot of times you only have a couple days of where it's not bad weather interfering so yeah. it's good that you caught it that he called you at that particular time well most cleanups by this time have already been taken care of right yeah at least around our area yeah uh, he had to sell the house or he was selling it in part of the it. conditions i explained that yeah. yeah okay yeah i already said i already said so okay in the video i, I figured said, you might have. i said that uh that it was under contract and that needed to be done mm -hmm. and the next rest of the week looks like stormy weather Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't have been, nobody would do it. Because nobody's going to work in that stuff. No. So, uh, mm, what else? Uh, oh, I got the, uh, I got the Tundra TRD mm -hmm. Pro ceramic coated. Yes, you did. Yep. We picked just, it up today. Just in case I'm driving up and somebody's, you know, being foolish with the weed eater or something. I know that it doesn't prevent rock chips, whatever. At least it does a little bit more than the uh, clear coat that's on it. Yeah. So we got our ceramic coated. Uh, man, it's they did beautiful. a great job. They did a great job. And yes, uh, the TRD Pro video is coming. It's going to be a video on its own because I just want to talk all about this truck. I just love this truck. And I love everything about it, just about. Because you know what? I've already owned it pretty much before. The old Tundra is the same exact motor, same exact <laughs> transmission, right? Yes. This thing is just a bit of a different suspension and a few technology upgrades. Can't wait to share it with you. Yes. Guys. In a different video, though. Different video. <laughs> We're out of here. Uh, we got to go see my nephew play hockey. Yay! Road in, trip! In St. Louis. In the tundra. We're taking the pro. We're taking the pro. Uh, I guess that's it. We're excited. We'll talk to you next time. We're going to include that in our next video. Love each other. Make lots of money. And peace. Peace. See you next time. Bye, y'all.